Hi friends, welcome back to the channel. Today I've got three quick tips for you to make your Quarto HTML websites and HTML documents look that much more impressive. So we are going to look at how to turn them into dark mode, how to make a call out, and how to set up some tabs. First up, how can we make a HTML page or website in Quarto to be in dark mode? So here I've just gone up to file and made a new Quarto document. And so this is just the default that it gives you when you make a new document. In order to turn this into dark mode, all we need to do is under editor, add theme, dark, and we're going with darkly. And so when I hit render, we can see that it has now turned our HTML into dark mode. So dark background with the light text. Also quite nice is it adds a little button there so I can flick back and forth. If I'm producing an HTML for a stakeholder or one of my team and they want to be able to flick between the different modes, this is really handy. So we set it up in dark mode, it ends up with this button here to be able to change back to the white background with black text if they would prefer that. So theme and then dark and the one that I've used here is darkly. Next up, we're going to look at how to make a callout. So a callout gives us a little chunk within the body of our report or our HTML that makes something stand out. So when we want to call attention to a particular thing. In order to do this, all we need to do is set up our little call here. So we've got the three colons, the squiggly brackets, and dot callout dash note. And then we close that block off with the colons again. And when we render it, we can see now we've got this note, stands out nicely with the blue highlight next to it. And we have this little block here to be able to make a particular note. So in addition to note, you can also use tip, caution, warning, and important. And they will give you different colors. And instead of note, they will have those particular words instead. If you want to get even more fancy, you can make a customized call out using CSS, but it's beyond the scope of some quick tips for today. So just testing out another one, we can see we just changed note to tip, and we can see that that produced one which is green, has the little light bulb icon there instead, and tip. In addition to note and tip, we've also got caution, warning, and important as other ones we can use. Finally, we've got setting up tabs. So tabs will give us a block and then tabs that we can flick between. This is handy for being able to condense a bit of information and make the page not quite as long, particularly where you've got things where people might only need to see one of the different things at once. We set this up like this. So again, blocking off with our colons and then here is our key instruction. So panel tab set. And then for each tab, we just need to put a second level title and then we can put whatever content and I've just put some simple text, but it can be graphs or other things as well in under there. Let's render it and we can see that it's produced this little block here where I can flick between these tabs to show the content within them. So that was just three handy quarto tips if you are producing websites or HTML documents, which I find really handy for being able to share output and data and analysis without having to deal with pages and page breaks, just one nice continuous scrolling document with all the niceties that you can add with HTML, then hopefully these have been helpful for you. I'm going to be back really soon with more videos on R, stats, AI, and random stuff.